Hey friends, Not Link here, and Big Paintball 2 has updated! Also, I have a potential release date for you. Currently, Big Paintball 2 is in early access, which means you have to pay to get in, but I have news as to when Big Paintball 2 is supposed to be releasing for free for all of you. And that news has officially changed, because as of 10.30 p.m. EST last night, the game is now open for everyone! But hang on, before you go and run and play it, there's been a bunch of new things in this game that have just released. So let's go over them briefly together right now. With one of the first things being this little icon, because being in first wasn't satisfying enough. Also, what they have done is now all of these free for all maps are team death matches. So even though you can see at the timer, it still says free for all, you can see all the little, little happy faces because now they're team death matches, but you still spawn in the style of free for all. This is something they're currently testing, so I'm not sure if it's going to stay in the game or not, but to be honest, I kinda hope it doesn't because I really, really enjoy free for all. It's one of my favorite game modes, and to me, having them remove a game mode and replace it with one that already exists seems kinda counterproductive. Aren't we supposed to be creating new things and not reverting back to less things? And I might also just be a little bit salty about it because I love free for all because they get me a lot of kills and they get me a lot of credits. Which to be honest, on a game that's already so, so expensive, especially Especially with big games, we need all the help we can get. And just to prove to you that this isn't a visual glitch and that it is actually a team deathmatch, watch. I can't shoot him because he's on my team. Now let's do a quick test here. Is my radar going to count for my teammates? No, okay, so I guess that's a good thing. Now this may change and I kinda hope it does because I really love free for all, but for now this is something they're testing. So tell me in the comments what your thoughts are on it and whether or not this is something you'd like to see continue. Because for me personally, they haven't given any actual reason as to why they wanted to change it. They just said it didn't seem to be working the way they wanted, which gives me no information as to why they wanted it to work a different way. What's wrong with free for all? So at this point in time, I'm against it, but if they have some actual good reasons, which you guys might be able to tell me in the comments, then I might be less prone to complain. <laughs> but until then, I hate it because I just want to tag everybody. <laughs> Especially when it's still in the style of a free-for-all map where people spawn in different locations simply because I am so used to like shooting at anything that moves. And so I'm going to end up wasting so much of my time shooting at my team members because I don't pay attention to the happy faces. I just find people that are moving and I just shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas at least on a team deathmatch, you kind of have an idea as to where your enemy is going to be because they're usually just on the other side of the map. Additionally, because free-for-all maps are so, so large because they were intended for free-for-all, Good luck trying to find anybody on the opposite team. Another new thing, which is slightly more exciting, is we spawn in and they have updated Nuketown. They have a little greenhouse. I mean, look at this. Come on, it's so cute. Why is it here? I have no idea, but I love it. It's so cute. They also have a bunch more barriers as well and a grill. I didn't know they had a grill. <laughs> This helps us because Nuketown is a little bit more protected now with all of these barriers, so getting tagged isn't nearly as easy. But is there anything else around here that's new? Okay, there's a lot of new barriers. Wait a second, is there more furniture? The kitchen's the same. Oh no, this is the same. Wait, could I get out here before? I don't know if I could get into the garage before, but I can now. Please tell me there's more furniture. Oh, why is there no furniture? And why is there a door here? I'm pretty sure there's like nothing on this side. Wait, let's confirm that. No, it's literally... <laughs> literally a door to nowhere basically <laughs> what is that there oh they've got street lights too wow and whatever that is what is that was that a particle effect for somebody's gun <laughs> mailboxes oh oh i love them oh wait they're so cute oh my oh oh, 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 oh. hold on bro oh man i'm trying to <laughs> trying to appreciate the mailboxes. Also, I've been told that you can't shoot into the other people's spawn bases, or at least that's been fixed a little bit. So let's go test that. Okay, I've made it into their base. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, just ignore me. Oh, no, no, I can't. Okay, so they've changed that. So now you can't actually shoot into the base, which is nice. But that's not all because this update is huge. And I'm only gonna scratch the surface today. In future videos, I'm gonna go into more detail on everything. Something we have been anticipating for a very long time has finally come out and that is trading. Now you can trade anything with anyone. You could trade guns, you could trade cases if you want to. And what's nice is if you're actually actively playing, you can't get trade requests. Ah, this is perfect. Mainly because I want to see what the trade interface looks like. Oh, okay. Oh, 
This dude's just flexing on me right now. Um, I'm just gonna get ready and see what he says. <laughs> well, he denied my trade. <laughs> that might have been because I didn't give him anything. But as you can see, the new trade interface is really neat. It's actually quite clean. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't really show you exactly what you're trading. It just highlights it, which can make it a little bit more confusing. Now, trading has come at an incredible time because new guns have also been added. So if I go back to the menu here and I run over to the shop, you can see we now have the contraband case, which is stunning. I love it. I don't know why it's all neon, but I'm not complaining. It's beautiful. And in the contraband case, we've got the green glow stick rifle, the violet glow stick rifle, the cyan, the red, and the yellow glow stick snipers. We've got the unit 005, 006, and 007 guns. And of course, as the legendaries, we've got the Futura rifle, the Futura sniper, and the Futura mini guns. Not only do we have the contraband case, we also have the Apex case. Get it, Apex Predator? It's like a tiger skin. <laughs> But in the Apex case, we now have the sun-baked rifle, the sun-baked sniper, the virus sniper, the tiger print rifle, and tiger print minigun, which of course direct correlation to the Apex case skin, the joystick rifle, the joystick sniper, and the elite legendary set, which includes the elite rifle, the elite sniper, and the elite minigun. Now the elite rifle we've talked about before because it basically just looks like a high-tech version of the scar in Big Paintball 1, but regardless, it's still pretty cool. And of course, in both of these cases, we have the ability to get the contrabands. Now, because I own zero contrabands, I have no idea if the contrabands from one case to another differ, but the contraband chances have increased. So in the contraband case, you have the chance to get a contraband at 0.125% chance. And in the Apex case, you have a 0.055% chance, which is the same for the early access case, but the Cyan case is a 0.04% chance, probably because it's the cheapest one with the available contrabands. Now, of course, at this this point in time, I'm not gonna open those cases. You're gonna have to stay tuned for another video. So if you wanna see me open them and hopefully get some of the legendaries, even more so some of the contraband, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now I've got just a few more things to tell you. One of these includes being able to level up higher. Previously, the current max level was level 100. I am currently only level 29, but as you can see, we've got no party this time who's currently level 101. So the max level has increased. To what? No idea. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, or I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Now, I'm pretty sure the last thing in this update, but certainly not least, is if I go to the menu, ta-da, the Ryu, the Ryu, Ryu <laughs> pack is now available. Of course, it is available only for Robux and for 875, which just re-emphasizes my much earlier point about big games being quite expensive. But this price may change. But let's be honest, I'm gonna end up buying it. So please subscribe so I can afford it. I don't know about you, but I am very excited for Big Paintball to actually come out for all access because I'd love to be able to play with everyone, not just the people who can afford 200 Robux. But tell me your thoughts on the new updates in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe because I've got lots more to come and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.